we'll go for a loop this time. So if you okay. could look sideways when I go okay. in pulling vertical. Yeah. Okay, looking sideways, looking at the wing tip. Power off. Oh, you just had a weird thought then. Back for second video uh, using the CADEX FPV system, the latest system, the Goggles L, which I've got here. And uh, this is their new lower cost, budget friendly, single screen FPV goggles, which I've always got on better with single screen goggles. I remember when I was flying analog, and you do get, of the majority have got two separate screens that you're looking at. And I always have a bit of a problem with those, but not with these, these are fantastic. And they incorporate head tracking as well. And the signal for the head tracking is sent directly to the video transmitter. And if you buy the, uh, the gimbal, the GM1, 2 or 3, and I've got the 3 here which has pan, tilt and roll, then it sends the signal from the video transmitter to control the gimbal if they're connected up. Absolutely fantastic. So the, I tried it in a high wing Cessna type uh, model last time, which was good, although I could have been seated a little bit higher and I'll revisit that. But either way, a high wing uh, model, you're always gonna be a good bit compromised with your view out of the cockpit. But I've got it in the Hobby King Yak 11 Steadfast now, and you can see you've got this big open cockpit so totally unobscured view, except for the bars across here, but I don't think they'll cause a problem. Now, I've gone one step further, and what I didn't mention last time was that if the camera and the VTX are not in airflow while you're flying, it does need to be cooled. So I needed to buy a, a, a separate, I think it's 30 mil uh, by 30 mil um, fan, 12 volt fan, that I'm powering off a three cell battery, the same one that I'm powering the, uh, the VTX off. Um, that's necessary just to have a bit of airflow over it to keep it cool. But what I've also added is a flight controller underneath, a Matek flight controller running iNav 701, I think, not the latest version, but just to provide some telemetry in the OSD, the on-screen display in the goggles, so I know my altitude, how fast I'm going. Now this is going to be GPS ground speed. What I could do, and what I thought about doing, was doing airspeed. But of course, on a model like this, you can't have the pitot tube for the airspeed sensor on the fuselage because it would have the flow from the propeller. It would have to go out on the wing. So I will probably do that in the future, but route the cables into the, um, the flight controller here. Um, yeah. So I think that's going to make it quite a lot more interesting. Uh, put the second battery in to power this, rebalanced, and I think we're all ready to go. So on this first flight, I'm going to uh, get Trevor on camera. I'm going to get you to wear the goggles, Trevor. Yeah. Always prefer to do that with a new project. I will fly line of sight. He's going to wear the goggles. So when we land, he can tell me how good it was before I actually try flying it FPV myself. So here we go. First flight with Trevor wearing it and me flying line of sight. What can go wrong? Uh. <laughs> All right, Trevor. <laughs> Where's he looking? Uh, I was looking, I was watching you from the plane. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, you can do that. Uh, let me just click this. This should say recording now. Yeah, I've got two red lights. Brilliant. Uh, flashing. All right, then we are ready to go. So, wind right. is coming down the hill today. So yeah, I can see the wind sock, so you'd be taking off right to left. Correct. Flaps up, we're going to do a flapless takeoff. Yeah, I just, the, first, the flight I did, I didn't, you know, I used flaps, but half flaps for landing, it was spot on, but yeah, for takeoff, nothing, it was up before you knew it. I know, it's ridiculous. Yeah. No throttle, very, virtually no, very little throttle and it just gets off the deck. These things have got so much power, haven't they? They're really good. So, okay. okay, I can see us just about over there. Yeah, all right. Yeah, the view's really good. All right, let's hope we get in the air. Okay. The balance should be more or less 
Well, apparently going by the instruments, we're at 6,000 feet already, so... <laughs> we're definitely not yet. Hold on. Oh, I can see we're up. Wow. All right. I just stood over there, out of the way, so I'm just checking trim. Do you know you're saying this, the view is something else. Yeah, the trim was all good. I rebalanced virtually in this, the same place. Yeah, he used to have no problems flying this. My blue sky. Ground. In line with the strip. That is a reversal. Yeah, I tell you, you're really going to enjoy this, I think, Dom. All right, so we're just going to do some gentle aerobatics. Okay, I've got my sick bag ready. All right, so here we go with a roll. Looks good. It looked like that was quite an axial roll. Axial. Yeah. The, axial. The high line. Um, oh, I can't even. The, words. the horizon kept nice and level then. We'll go for a loop this time. So if you okay. could look sideways when I okay. go in pulling vertical. Yeah. Okay, look sideways, look at the wing tip. Power off. Oh, you just had a weird thought then. So you know on the full-size aerobatic planes they have the, um, the angle gauge on the wingtip, don't they? Yes. That would actually work in this. That would be FPV. useful. It would be useful if you're flying from the cockpit. Yeah, certainly. You can see the benefits while they do it. What's the view like over the nose? Over the nose. It's good. You can see a little bit of the red. Um, even when you're taxiing out, you can see ahead of you. So, yeah, the, the view, I would say, is spot on. Where the sort of the shape of the fuselage kind of rolls down to the wing, uh, leading edge of the wing, it gives you plenty of vision. So, you, yeah, you can see where you're going and whether... I, I think you're going to have absolutely no problems whatsoever. Now, what you can do is you can turn around. So, actually, to get the, the view back. behind, turn Should around. Yeah. All right, we're turning around. But I wouldn't recommend doing this in the real way. Don't turn around all the all the way, but yeah. it'll go most of the way. Yeah, real good actually. I can see the old cooling fan doing its job. All right, now hold on. I'll, I'll come. I'm doing a pass. Stay there, okay. and I'm going to pull vertical. All right. Today, this is a course with smoke. You have to stick it in the uh, petrol one, I reckon. Yeah, well, we can. This is easily transferable between different different aircraft. That you just Velcro it in. Yeah. This is the benefit of the head tracking not going through the transmitter. I can literally just put it in anything. This is going to be a game changer, I think, in the, the flying world. Yeah, um, we'll put it in everything: warbirds, gliders, jets, even. This is uh, you're in your element, aren't you? I think. With I, this, this yeah. yeah. This taking is what I love hard, doing. Taking all the hard work out. All the hard work out of it. You know, not none of these crappy 3D printed gimbals with your own, with uh, servos. This is a a proper proper system. You'd be glad to know the uh, oil pressure is good. <laughs> um, Engines running smoothly. Yeah, plenty of fuel. It looks like you can fly all day. The fuel gauge hasn't moved. I'll tell you what, it's, uh, it's amazing. I was going to say earlier, what would really, I think, would be so cool with this, if you just had, um, you almost want a couple of arms for the, like a stick, do you know what I mean? Just so it actually yeah. gives it the, then you, if someone watched the video back, that would, it would look like a real aircraft, I Yeah, think. I know what you mean. Yeah, so it looks like you're actually sitting in the cockpit. Yeah. All right, we're going to do one more fast pass, left to right. <laughs> and then think about coming in.
feels really natural uh, FPV with this, the fact that you can move your head around. Do you get the sense of speed? Oh, 100%, yeah. The only thing I find is probably just because of lack of experience with the goggles on, it's hard to judge the, the height, I would say, but yeah, you definitely get a sense of speed. You certainly... Um, wind, hold on, sorry to interrupt, but the wind is going down that way, so we need to land uphill. I can actually uh, probably even see the wind stop from, from here. Flaps one. Gear, down. Gear coming down. Flaps two on final. Oh my God, stalled it. <laughs> You've been in a crash. Yeah, hang on. Do you know what the problem was? Yeah, so the problem was there, not enough power. Do you know, I, I probably, <sighs> sorry. When I flew my own, I did half laps, but I had to have a little bit of power on there. All right. I did. It's, the, it's that the full flap breaks it so much, and I need some down to compensate. Right. Stay there, Trev. I'll taxi back. OK. All right, you can take the gogs off now, Trev. Mm. Yeah, that was really cool. <laughs> All right. Turn around. Face the camera. Uh. So all I've done is crease the wingtip by the looks of it, no other damage, it's low speed. That was a bit daft, I'm a bit annoyed with myself I did that, but no great harm done. Looks okay. like me. <laughs> you never know. So, about, I'll, uh, next video, I'll have a go at flying FPV, just need to land a little better, probably with half flap, I think, half flap and power, yeah. and it'll be fine. Anyway, there you go, Cadex FPV head tracks with the GM3 gimbal. And oh. the HD Pro Kit, yeah, it worked yeah, really well. That, you know, that's mind blowing actually. How you could be in a real aircraft. It's so natural. All the head movements, everything just feels just like you're in the plane. Yep, that's the whole idea. Yeah, it's cool. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time. Bye. Adios.